Here we are following the official SDK update instructions from BuddyBuild, so we are going to copy and run the script in our terminal. The terminal on the left side is our local machine, while the terminal window on the right side is the attacker. You now see all the keystrokes happening on our user's computer, as the attacker installed a keylogger on our Mac. The attacker has also enabled remote access, so they can log into the user's machine and see all the data on it, or enable other attacks by running any code that they want. Other possible attacks include decrypting and uploading all passwords from the keychain, stealing secrets like your AWS credentials or CocoaPods push tokens, or even accessing your emails and iMessage conversations. As you can see here, we've intercepted the download and replaced the file contents with our own script that includes the malicious code. The only requirement for this attack to work is that the attacker is in the same network as you at the time of the download. This is the case whenever you are in a network shared by others, like hotels, conferences or coffee shops.